Are you a farmer looking to increase your harvest? Today we will reveal the secrets to a bountiful Adas, also known as fennel harvest. Adas is a flavorful herb with a long history in culinary and medicinal uses. But how do you ensure a plentiful harvest of this versatile plant? The first secret is in the spacing. When sowing your Adas seeds, ensure you plant them at least 30 centimeters apart. This distance gives each plant sufficient room to grow, allowing it to soak up all the necessary nutrients from the soil and sun. Remember, a cramp plant is a stressed plant, and stress leads to lower yields. Next, let's talk about watering. Adas, like most plants, loves water. But not just any amount of water, the right amount of water. Too little, and your Adas plants may wilt and dry out too much, and they could drown or even rot. Regular watering, therefore, is crucial. However, be sure to adjust your watering schedule according to the weather. On hot days, your Adas plants will need more water while on cooler or rainy days, they'll need less. Finally, the soil. Adas prefers well-draining soil. This means that the soil should be able to hold enough moisture for the plants to drink, but not so much that it becomes waterlogged. If your soil is heavy clay, consider amending it with organic matter to improve its drainage. On the other hand, if it's sandy and doesn't hold water well, adding organic matter can also help retain moisture. Remember, the key to a bountiful Adas harvest is proper spacing, regular watering, and well-draining soil. Paying attention to these three factors will ensure your Adas plants grow strong and healthy, leading to a plentiful harvest. But don't just take our word for it. Try these tips in your garden and see the results for yourself. Happy Adas farming. Moving on to red cabbage, a vegetable that thrives in cooler temperatures. Now let's delve into the secrets that will help you cultivate a bountiful harvest of this vibrant veggie. The journey to a high yield begins with the preparation of the soil. Red cabbage is partial to soil that is rich in organic matter. So, before you plant, enrich your soil with compost or well-rotted manure. This will not only add nutrients to the soil but also improve its structure, making it easier for the roots to penetrate and access the water and nutrients they need. Good drainage is another factor that can make or break your red cabbage harvest. This vegetable won't take kindly to waterlogged conditions. So, if your soil tends to hold water, consider adding some sand or grit to improve its drainage. Remember, a happy plant is one that has its feet in well-drained soil. Once your soil is ready, it's time to plant. Keep your red cabbage plants at least 45 centimeters apart. This will give them enough room to spread out and grow without competing for resources. Watering is another crucial part of red cabbage farming. These plants need a consistent supply of water to grow well. However, you want to avoid overwatering, which can lead to problems like root rot. The goal is to keep the soil moist, but not soggy. Lastly, let's talk about mulching. This is a simple step that can have a big impact on your red cabbage harvest. By adding a layer of mulch around your plants, you can help retain moisture in the soil, suppress weeds, and even add nutrients as the mulch breaks down. So there you have it. With the right soil preparation, consistent watering and mulching, your red cabbage plants will thrive. Follow these tips and you'll be well on your way to a bountiful harvest of this nutritious and delicious vegetable. Now let's talk about green onion, a versatile herb that can be harvested multiple times. Green onions are a staple in many kitchens, adding a punch of flavor to a variety of dishes. But did you know that cultivating a bountiful harvest of these robust plants is easier than you might think? The journey to a prolific green onion harvest begins with the planting. Green onion bulbs should be planted about five centimeters deep into the soil. This depth is just right for the bulbs to develop strong roots, anchoring the plant firmly into the ground. Spacing is another crucial aspect. To allow each plant enough room to grow, space the bulbs approximately 10 centimeters apart. This distance ensures that the plants won't compete for nutrients, allowing them to grow to their full potential. Now, let's delve a bit into watering. Regular watering is vital for green onions, helping to keep the soil moist and the plants healthy. However, it's essential to strike a balance. While these plants love water, overwatering can lead to root rot, a condition that can harm or even kill your plants. So, how do you know if you're overwatering? A good sign is if the soil remains soggy for a long period after watering. 
To prevent this, ensure that your soil has good drainage and adjust your watering schedule as necessary. It's also worth noting that the beauty of green onions lies in their ability to be harvested multiple times. Once the green tops reach a height of about 5 inches, you can cut them back to the soil level, leaving the bulbs in the ground. In a short while, the plants will regenerate and you can harvest again. By taking care not to overwater, your green onions can be harvested multiple times. With the right planting depth and spacing, regular watering, and a keen eye for potential problems, you're well on your way to a bountiful green onion harvest. Enjoy the fruits, or rather the herbs, of your labor. Lastly, we will share some tips for broccoli farming. This leafy green vegetable, packed with vitamins and minerals, is a favorite in many kitchens worldwide. But how can you ensure a plentiful and healthy broccoli harvest? Let's delve into that. Firstly, broccoli requires well-drained soil for optimal growth. Healthy soil is the foundation of any successful garden, and broccoli is no exception. It thrives in soil that has been enriched with organic matter. Organic matter, such as compost or well-rotted manure, adds nutrients to the soil and improves its texture, promoting better root development and plant health. Next, let's discuss planting. Broccoli isn't a fan of crowded spaces when planting. Make sure to give each plant room to grow. Whether you're starting with seeds or seedlings, they should be planted about 45 centimeters apart. This allows each plant to receive adequate sunlight and air circulation, reducing the risk of disease and encouraging better growth. Now, on to watering. Broccoli enjoys a good drink, especially during dry spells. However, it's crucial to water your broccoli plants correctly. Overwatering can lead to root rot, while underwatering can result in wilting and reduced yields. So, how much is enough? Generally, broccoli plants need about 1 to 1.5 inches of water per week, depending on the weather conditions. Remember, successful broccoli farming is not just about the right soil, spacing, and watering. Regular monitoring for pests, timely harvesting, and crop rotation also play a crucial role in ensuring a bountiful harvest. With well-drained soil, adequate spacing, and regular watering, you can look forward to a bountiful broccoli harvest. By following these tips, you'll be well on your way to enjoying homegrown, nutritious, and delicious broccoli. Happy farming! To wrap up, achieving an abundant harvest requires maintaining healthy plants. It's a bit like a puzzle, where each piece contributes to the overall picture of success. Let's go over the key points once more. With Adis or Fennel, remember that spacing is your friend. Each plant needs enough room to grow and flourish. Regular watering and well-draining soil are also crucial to ensure healthy growth. For red cabbage, the secret lies in the soil and temperature. This cool weather crop thrives when the soil is well prepared, enriched with organic matter, and well drained. Consistent watering and a protective layer of mulch will keep your plants happy and hydrated. Then we have the green onion, or bawang hijau. This versatile herb loves a good balance of water. Plant the bulbs at a depth of about 5 centimeters and space them about 10 centimeters apart. But remember, overwatering can lead to root rot, so moderation is key. And finally, there's broccoli. This sun-loving but cool climate vegetable needs well-drained, nutrient-rich soil. Adequate spacing and watering, particularly during dry spells, will ensure a healthy crop. But these are just the basics. To truly achieve an abundant harvest, you must also regularly weed your plants, provide them with proper fertilization, and protect them against pests. These additional steps are just as important as the initial planting process. So there you have it. The secrets to bountiful harvests of aedas, red cabbage, green onion, and broccoli. It's not just about knowing how to plant them, but also about maintaining their health and well-being throughout the growing season. Remember these tips for your next farming season. 